I am. Yep, here I am, right here. Uh, sorry for the delay there, but thanks so much, Elizabeth. Okay, as we get older, there are a lot of things we try to do to keep from aging, right? Lotions, creams, you name it. Well, did you know that some foods that you eat can actually help slow down the aging process? Courtney Bird, certified nutrition coach and personal trainer, is here to tell us more. Uh, Courtney, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in this morning. All right, let's talk about heart health first. We'll, we'll get to the skin stuff later, but let's yeah. talk about your heart. You still want to keep your insides young too, right? Absolutely. So what kind of foods can we, can we eat and, and how does it help? So we want to focus on foods that have um, good omega-3s, and okay. healthy antioxidants. So we've got some salmon and flaxseed. Those are very high in omega-3. And then blueberries um, that have antioxidant properties. Uh, all of these foods um, fight inflammation in okay. our blood vessels, which makes our blood flow more smoothly and we have a healthier heart system. Okay, so that's helping your kind of your system basically yes. stay younger and stay healthy, mm -hmm. which is what it's all about, right? Right. Okay, well let's talk about skin care. How what can we do about keeping our skin young just with the foods we eat? So this is what everyone wants to know, right? right. How do I keep my skin healthy? Yeah. So uh, you want to look for foods that are high in vitamin A. Okay. So sweet potatoes, carrots, spinach, very high in vitamin A. Our body takes vitamin A and turns it into retinoic acid, and retinoids keep our skin um, smoother. Okay. They help uh, even on our skin tones and boost collagen. Okay, so this is great for the skin. Spinach, carrots, sweet potatoes, I like that. Now what mm -hmm. about, um, now one of the biggest reasons that we age is stress too. So uh, what can we do about that? What kind of food is good for stress? We all want to do so stress. So not macaroni and cheese. No. Um, not, not the typical not comfort food. Not fast foods. food. Not the typical comfort food. Dang. So <laughs> you want to reach for things like a healthy dark chocolate. So okay. something with more than 70% cacao. Um, this has magnesium in it, which can help reduce stress. Oh, that's uh, good to we've know. We've got avocado, which contain um, um, serotonin, which is a feel-good transmitter. Okay, oh, neurotransmitter. I need some more avocado in my life. And then green tea contains uh, theanine which okay. um, is a calming agent, so it kind of uh, helps you calm down. Gotcha. So those foods can kind of help reduce And those are stress. good foods, too. Absolutely. That's not tough to adhere to at all. Right. Um, what are some of the don'ts when it comes to aging, aging when it comes to food? Are there things that can actually hinder the process? Yes. So if you think about caffeine, so we've got some coffee and soda here. Mm -hmm. um, everybody likes their coffee, and coffee in moderation is great. Right. But when you uh, boost that caffeine, it acts as a diuretic. So it oh. takes all the water out of your body, oh. and it makes, you, makes your skin look more prune-like. So okay. it kind of ages you. Oh. Um, and then sugars and processed foods um, such as these. Um, can lead to cardiovascular disease and diabetes, which if your heart isn't healthy, then your body's not going to be healthy. Exactly. Absolutely. You want the inside mm -hmm. healthy first and foremost. That's really. right. Right. And then the other major thing is smoking. Oh, so yeah. uh, smoking can age you more than any other toxins out there. Uh, the nicotine um, it restricts the blood flow to your skin, so it makes you look a lot more wrinkly, a lot older than you actually are. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you so much for the advice, and I think it'll be easy to do and easy to stick to. I love it. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming in to you. And of course, if you want any more information on that, just go to our website, tucasa or casa.com, and click on the Tucasa blog. And of course, we still have a lot more to come here on Tucasa this morning.